welcome Ranjani Sharma for Trinity Mirror News. The headlines. Vice President, Prime Minister paid tribute to Nehru on birth anniversary. Chennai gets 126 cm of rain against annual share of 140 cm. Puducherry, Pudukote and Virupura may receive moderate rain. Encounter breaks out in districts of South Kashmir. Days after two films drop from fest, jury chief Sujai Ghosh resigns. Rahil Shaw dropped from Tamil Nadu, team for match against Madhya Pradesh in a Ranji Trophy Group C. News in detail. Vice President M. Vengaya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi remembered country's first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru on his 120th birth anniversary. Naidu tweeted that wished the nation on the occasion of birth anniversary of first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Modi, who is in Manila to attend the Asia India Asian Summit also paid tributes to Nehru. He wrote on Twitter that tribute to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru on his birth anniversary. City police hand over 85 stolen vehicles to owners. The city police handed over 85 two-wheelers that were stolen and found as part of its effort to trace owners of over 1,500 two-wheelers they found abandoned in the city. Commissioner of Police Mahesh Kumar Agarwal hand over, handed over the vehicles to the owners of Armed Reserve Police Ground. A special team headed by additional Deputy Commissioner of Police, U. Murugesh, was formed to trace the owners. Using crime and criminal tracking network and system, the police traced around 125 owners. The police identified them by matching the details of motorcycles available with the website of the Department of Transport. Chennai to get more rain, but intensity will come down. Chennai gets 126 cm of rain against annual share of 140 cm. Puducherry, uh, Pudukotai and Virupura may receive moderate rain. The low pressure area over the southwest Bay of Bengal and its neighborhood has become well marked and an associated cyclonic circulation along with it precedes. The weather system which has intensified has led to rainfall over the north coastal areas especially Chennai, Tiruvallur and Kanjipuram districts. During the 24 hours ending, Ennu registered the highest volume of 11 cm of rainfall. The weather stations in Poneri, Nungambakam and Madhavaram received 7 centimeters of rain. Constable Ganga Kumari becomes the first transgender to join Rajasthan police. Ganga Kumari could have become India's first transgender to join security forces. But fate had other plans for her. After a two-year long battle, 24-year-old Kumari is all set to be Rajasthan's first and India's third transgender to join a state police force. But the journey was not that easy. A resident of Raniwara in Jalur, district of Rajasthan, Kumari appeared for police recruitment examination for constables in 2013. After the police department halted her appointment, she moved High Court. Rajasthan High Court directed the state to appoint Kumari in the state police force within six weeks and treat her appointment from 2015 for purpose of seniority. According to police, two encounters broke up between security forces and militants in Kulgam and Palwama district of South Kashmir. A police spokesman said that security forces launched a cordon and search operation in Naubakund village in Kwasigan area of Kulgam after receiving specific information about the presence of militants in the area. He added that as the forces were conducting the searches, the militants fired upon them, triggering an encounter. The firing was going on when last reports came in. He said that another encounter broke out in Lam village of Tral in Avantipura area of Palwama after the militants fired upon a search party of security forces. We'll resume back after a short break. Papa, why are you shooting? Sorry, you can leave. Leave it. 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 Leave
எங்கள் ஏரியாவில் டெங்கு ஜூரம் பரவி வருவதால் எனக்கு முன்னூத்தி அறுபத்தஞ்சு நாள் விடுமுறை வேண்டும் என்று தாழ்மையுடன் கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறேன் ஆனா பாவி ஏ ஒரு கொசுவுக்கு பயந்தா ஓடுற ஏ வீட்டையும் வீட்டை சுத்தி இருக்க இடத்தையும் சுத்தமா வச்சுக்கிட்டாலே இந்த டெங்கு ஜூரம் பரவாத அரசாங்கம் சொல்ற எதையும் நீ செய்யறது இல்லையா என்ன கேக்குற மழை நீர் சேகரிப்பு கூட பண்ணி வச்சிருக்கேன் சார் மழை நீர் சேகரிப்பு திட்டமா அது அம்மா கொடுத்த அருமையான திட்டமாச்சே எப்படி சேகரிப்பு பண்ற சார் வீட்டுக்கு பண்ணிருக்கிற பழைய பிளாஸ்டிக் பக்கெட் பிளாஸ்டிக் கப்பு பெயிண்ட் டப்பா அப்புறம் இந்த தேங்காய் ஓடு ஆட்டுக்கல் உரலு இந்த பழைய டயரு இதெல்லாம் தண்ணி ஊத்தி வச்சிருக்கேன் சார் நிலத்துக்கு மேல தேங்கி நிக்கிற நல்ல நீராலதான் டெங்கு காய்ச்சலே பரவுது அதை புரிஞ்சுக்காம தப்பு தப்பா பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காரு தாய்மார்களே இல்ல தரசிகளே டெங்கு கொசுங்கிறது அயல் நாட்டுல இருந்தோ இல்லாட்டி ஆகாயத்துல இருந்தும் நம்ம நாட்டுக்கு வரல நாமளே தான் அதை உற்பத்தி பண்றோம் எப்படின்னு கேக்குறீங்களா பாத்தீங்களா மூடி வைக்காத வாளி இந்த தேங்காய் ஓடு பெயிண்ட் டப்பா பழைய டயரு அப்புறம் அந்த தண்ணி தொட்டியில தேங்கி இருக்கிற தண்ணி இந்த மாதிரி தேங்கி இருக்கிற நல்ல நீர்ல இருந்து தான் டெங்கு காய்ச்சல பரப்புற கொசு உருவாகுது இல்லத்தரசிகளே இன்னும் உங்களுக்கு புரியற மாதிரி சொல்லட்டுமா இப்பெல்லாம் மிக்சி கிரைண்டர்னு வந்துருச்சா நீங்கள்லாம் உரல் ஆட்டுக்கள் பக்கமே போகிறதில்ல அதையெல்லாம் தூக்கி வீட்டுக்கு பின்னாடி எங்கேயாவது வெளியே போட்டுருவீங்க அதில் மழை தண்ணி தேங்குது அந்த நல்ல நீர்லேருந்து தான் டெங்கு காய்ச்சலை பரப்புற கொசு உருவாகுது அந்த ஆட்டுக்கல் உரலை எல்லாம் அப்புறப்படுத்துங்க இல்லாட்டி குப்புரை போடுங்க ஐயோ அப்படிலாம் பண்ணா வீட்டில் இருக்க லக்ஷ்மி வெளியே போயிடும் அப்படின்னு சென்டிமெண்ட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா லக்ஷ்மி போகுதோ இல்லையோ டெங்கு உள்ளே வந்துடும் பரவாயில்லையா போலாமா இப்படியேவா கோவிலுக்கா கோவிலுக்கு எப்பவுமே ட்ரெடிஷ்னலா வேஷ்டி கட்டிட்டுதான் வரணும் ரூம்ல ராம்ராஜ் பாக்கெட் வேஷ்டி வச்சிருக்கேன் ஆம்பளையா லட்சணமா கட்டிட்டு வாங்க செல்போன வேஷ்டி பாக்கெட்ல வைங்க வேண்டுதல மனசுல வைங்க Welcome back. Best plans to install automatic doors in new buses after four electric buses of the Brahan Mumbai Electric Supply and Trust were fitted with automatic doors recently. The undertaking plans to install automatic doors in each of the new buses procured. The opening and closing of the doors will be controlled by the drivers of the vehicles. Electric buses started operating in the city. After a bus arrives at a stop, the driver manually controls the opening and closing of the door. Till now, only air-conditioned buses which had been scrapped last year had this facility. The doors ensure discipline in movement of commuters inside the buses. It discourages people from standing at the doors. Automatic doors are very important to ensure safety of commuters. It also controls crowding inside the bus. Officials said that closing of door is included in the operational model of electric buses. The vehicles would not run without the door closed. Pollution levels severe. Air quality to improve soon. Delhi's air quality reminder in the emergency category for the second straight day. However, monitoring agencies have forecast a gradual cleanup. Both the Central Pollution Control Board and SAFA are predicted that air quality will start improving and may turn very poor which is a notch better than severe. The CPCB's air quality index for the city was 460 recently. The hourly graph of the Central Control Room for air quality management had a downward slope reflecting the improvement. The corresponding 24 hours safe standards are 60 and 100. Air quality will be out of the emergency category as per the center notified graded response action plan once these levels fall below 500 and 300 respectively. Both the agencies said explaining that the wind direction has changed the southeast to western Uttar Pradesh that the impact of smoke from subtle burning in Punjab and Haryana has come down substantially. We'll resume back after a short break. What color shirt do you want? Come on, let's go to a shirt. There's a shirt ready. Sister, 
First impression, best impression are kono. Appo Ram Raj White shirt choose pane. Yellar kompiti ko easy a impress pane. Kan por kan kar, unda nida. Kadal parvai enda nida. Un first impression. Pritchar ka? Pritchar ka. Yena ka pritchar White shirt la? Rumpa pritchar ka. Ram Raj White shirts get the best impression. Welcome back. Modi hopes US India relations can rise beyond bilateral ties. Prime Minister Narendra Modi told US President Donald Trump that both countries can rise beyond bilateral ties and work jointly for the future of Asia reflecting their growth convergence on strategic issues in the Indo-Pacific region. During their wide-ranging talks which took place on the sidelines of the Asian summit in the Philippines, Modi assured Trump that India will try to live up to the expectations of the US and the world and also thank the US president for speaking highly about India during his trips. The meeting came a day after officials of India, the US, Japan and Australia held their talks to give shape to the much talked about quad quadrilateral alliance to keep the strategically important Indo-Pacific region free, open and inclusive. UN chief meets Myanmar Suki on Rohingya crisis. UN chief Antonio Grutas urged Myanmar leader Aung San Suu Kyi to allow Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh to return when they met at a summit in the Philippines. The meeting added to global pressure on Suu Kyi to take action to end the crisis for the Muslim minority. The US Secretary of State Rex Tillerson due also to hold talks with her in Manila then travel to Myanmar. A UN statement said, summarizing comments to Suu Kyi that the Secretary General highlighted the strengthened efforts to ensure humanitarian access, safe, dignified, voluntary and sustained returns as well as true reconciliation between communities would be essential. More than 6 lakh Rohingya have fled to neighboring Bangladesh in two and a half months. India to pip Japan as world's third largest economy by 2028. India is likely to achieve strong growth over the next decade and will overtake Japan in nominal GDP by 2028 to emerge as the world's third largest economy, says a foreign brokerage report. The country has already overtaken Brazil and Russia to emerge as the second largest BRIC economy after China is well on track to cross France and Britain to emerge as the world's fifth largest economy after Germany by 2019. The American brokerage has conservatively projected the country's real GDP growth at 7% potential. Last year, the economy closed at US dollars 123 trillion but the quantify the size of economy by 2008 the third largest after China and US Days after two films dropped from Fest, a jury chief Sujai Ghosh resigns. Amid allegations that two movies selected by 13-member jury for the Indian Panorama section of the 40th International Film Festival of India were removed from the final list by INB Ministry, the panel said Sujai Ghosh has stepped down from the post. Ghosh, director of Bollywood hit Kahani, confirmed to the Indian confirmed that he has resigned as head of the jury but declined to offer any comment. The INB ministry announced the list of feature and non-feature films of the Indian Panorama selection of IFFI, which is scheduled to be held from November 20 to 28 in Goa. Following the announcement, some members of the jury criticized the decision to drop Sanal Sasidharan's Malayalam movie, Yes Durga and Ravi Jadhav's Marathi film Noor from the list allegedly without consulting them. The ministry has not responded to the allegations. Rahil Shah dropped from Tamil Nadu team for match against Madhya Pradesh in a Ranji Trophy Group C. Left arm spinner Rahil Shah was dropped from the Tamil Nadu team to make a Madhya Pradesh in a Ranji Trophy Group C match to be played at indoor. In other chances to square the consider the first innings lead to Odisha in the previous game at Katak, the Tamil Nadu selectors replaced reserve wicketkeeper R. Rohit and medium pacer L. Vignesh with stumper as Logeshwar and M. Mohammed. 
All-rounder Jay Kaushik has also been included in the 16-man squad while Shaw picked up only one wicket from 45 overs in the Odisha match and L. Vignesh has been benched in favour of V. Lakshman. It would miss the services of opener Murli Vijay who has been chosen for the India team for the test series against Sri Lanka. Italy miss out on World Cup as Sweden qualify. Italy failed to reach the World Cup for the first time since 1958 as they were held to a 0 for 0 draw in the second leg of their playoff at the San Siro by Sweden who qualified with a 1 for 0 aggregate victory. The four time champions dominated position but struggled to create enough clear cut chances as Sweden secured a first appearance at the finals in 2006 courtesy of Jacob John Johansson first leg strike at Stockholm. Despite the support of 74,000 fans in a white hot atmosphere at the San Siro, the 2006 World Cup winners could not find a way through. It is the third time that the Italians will not compete at the World Cup after not going to the first edition in 1930 and not qualifying for 1958 finals in Sweden. The marks the end of an era for iconic goalkeeper Gianluigi Buffon, who will not be able to compete in a record sixth World Cup. India to compete in Asia Rugby Championship at Chinese Tiapi. The Indian men's rugby 15 team is set to compete at the Asia Rugby Championship Division 2 Rugby 15s to be held in Taiwan from November 15 to 18. The team supported by Society General is participating under the aegis of the Indian Rugby Football Union. A total of four countries from across Asia including Singapore, Thailand, India and host Chinese Taipei will vie for top honours. The players shortlisted to join the Indian National Training Camp was selected during the Senior National Rugby Sevens Championship for men and women held in Patna and the 84th All India and South Asia Rugby 15th Championship which was held at the Calcutta Cricket and Football Club in October. The 25 players selected to represent India coach Henry Paul is former England Rugby Union player. That's it for the news bulletins. Thank you. Have a nice day.